In 2007, Leslie Gilson began to turn what had become a neglected Gibbs Park in Huntington Beach, named after the city's first female mayor, Norma Gibbs, into a once again thriving centerpiece of beauty and a home to many butterfly species, namely the monarch butterfly. That took six years and hundreds of volunteer hours, including City of Huntington Beach support and pure adrenaline. In February of 2013, Leslie, Jean Nagy of the Huntington Beach Tree Society, volunteers, artists, well-wishers, and sponsors like Era Energy and more, don the decorated butterflies and the sunshine, and welcome the First Lady of Huntington Beach back to the place for a celebration of renovation. Joining Norma were members of the Huntington Beach Chamber of Commerce, admirers, Mayor Pro Tem Matthew Harper, and Barbara Douglas, a neighbor of the park. The park was at its best with its new large mosaic and the life cycle tile project. We're so excited that the project is finished, but it's never finished. Today was magnificent. The fact that we had Norma Gibbs with us and we could celebrate these tiles it was just a magic moment for this park. Now, I was just thrilled that she was here. Uh, this woman was such a force when she was the mayor and on the council for women. And uh, the fact that she has been watching this progress throughout the years has been really exciting for me because she was the one that started it. We're the ones maybe that are continuing it. So to have her with us was just a joy. The makeover of the tiles specifically, including the new educational component, was purpose-driven. And if you walk around and you look at each circle tile explanation, I mean picture, you will see a beautiful explanation of the metamorphosis of the monarch butterfly. That was part of our plan to make the children um, accountable and to love this park and love the trees and love the butterflies. It was, uh, it was a very nice experience, not only producing these styles, but also to be in the park and installing it and to be on the actual, actual location even longer than what we expected. The special for this project was the idea of placing hand-painted tiles on the floor, on the ground. And uh, on a technical side, it, it's a commercial tile, which is not always easy to work with as far as the glazing and firing. The metamorphosis that is now organic to this butterfly Gibbs Park is symbolic of the project itself and its people, including the future of the monarch butterfly. When people bloom where they are planted, so much can happen instead of saying, oh, I want to go to Europe or I want to go to Latin America and I want to do things there. If you do things where you live, you can make it so much better for yourself and, all, and your whole community. And I think that's important. So I like bloom where you are planted. <laughs> Yes, I think we have transformed the community because now so many people come here and they feel that it's just a pleasure and it soothes your soul and helps your mental health just to sit here and, and feel the, the gloriousness of these trees. They're, it kind of has a cathedral feel about these trees that they just, all I can say is they just make you feel better when you're here. The metamorphosis is all about change, the caterpillar, to the chrysalis, to the butterfly. And this park has made a metamorphosis. We went from homeless sleeping in the bushes to cutting all the dead bushes down, cutting the trees, getting rid of it, and then reforesting. Adding flower beds was such a positive thing because we needed the milkweed to get the butterflies back. Uh, three months after we planted, the butterflies were back. And now each year we have more and more, not just monarchs, but all different butterflies. So it has been a metamorphosis. From the renovated Norma Gibbs Butterfly Park, this is Matt LaFrance.